this video we're going to be doing some housekeeping um, I'm working on I'm currently working on the email service and I have a bunch of sensitive information that I don't want to be pushing up to the git repository the public git repository so what I'm going to do is tell git to stop watching a file and I just want to show you how to do that so how I'm going to set this up is here is the app settings file here is where I'm going to put all my public or, or actually all my top secret information so here I'm going to have my real live production database right here. And here's going to be, it's going to connect to a SQL server online. It's going to have um, a password and it's going to have a username. I don't want anyone seeing that information. So what I'm going to do is stop pushing the app setting file to the repository. And then here I'm going to have a real live production key, you know, a real good one. And uh, again, don't want that online either. So so this is going to be my production page. Now this is going to be my development page. So this is going to be almost a exact copy of this. I could actually come in here and copy this. And then let's open this up and just right at the bottom, paste it. And then here will be my testing environment. And this will be my testing database. And this might be my little short testing key because you don't really need a real long top secret key when you're doing testing. And uh, this, I don't care who sees this, who sees this page because this ain't sensitive information. Now I'll have an exact copy, to, but the only thing is that there won't be any sensitive information on this page. And this is the page that I'll push up to the repository. Now, how does the website or the application know to use this file or this file? Well, uh, what you you do is right here when you're in development mode you set this to development mode and then what that does is it will go out and it will look for the variable in here and if it can't find it in here then it's going to go up into your app settings and look for it in there so let's say you're you're messing around you're you're creating bogus users things like that well you definitely want to change this to development and you want to push all those bogus users into a testing database and that testing database should be right here. And then if you're actually creating real live users or real live data that you want on the, you know, on the server, then you definitely want to change this to production like this. And then this will call on this guy and this will go in here and it will go out to your live database and call that, you know, I'm going to change this back to development. So I'll just copy this. And uh, that's it. I'll shut this, shut this down. Actually, save this and shut it down. Okay. And now let's go and tell um, Git to stop tracking this file, so I can start putting my sensitive information in here. So if we go into the command line, and then uh, you just put Git update index. Oops, and index. Then skip. and then the path of the file you want to start ignoring and the path of this file is inside of this the ci.api so I'll say ci.api and then app settings dot JSON and that should stop tracking this file now okay now uh, let's go in and make some changes to this file. So I'm going to go and shut this down. And I actually have a live key or actually a key over here. And I'm just going to paste this in here, a real good key. I'm going to change this again before we go to production. But I just want to put in a real good key in, on the production uh, file here. And then if we save it, it should not track this file over here. So let's save it. And as you can see, it did not track it. And that's great. Now we did make changes here. So again, if we save it and we, that should still show up. So that's great. So now I have a place to put all my top secret information without it going up to the public repository anymore. So now in the next video, we'll start actually start building out our email service. We got a lot of work to do on that. So I'll see you then.